Hey, I'm eating some yogurt. My wife emailed me today about the Momo challenge. She said maybe I could make a video about it. And uh, I got here's a challenge for you. If you have a kid that's under 12, between 6 and 12, and any age kid, uh, here's a challenge for you. Spend at least an hour and a half to two hours of quality time with that kid every day of its life. That doesn't mean taking it to a movie, putting it in front of a TV, putting it in front of the internet. The mama and papa challenge, do your job as, as a parent. Take the kid to the park, take it fishing. If it's a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it's all pink and Barbie stuff, get a pair of boots from a resale store and some fatigues. And take the kid out for a day, stomping around at the local stream. There's all kinds of activities you can do. Free museums and discount things. I'm not talking about putting the kid into a situation where you're not with it. I'm talking about you actively enjoying quality playtime with your kid. Because if we do that as a society, then our kids turn out healthy. Healthier than if they're left in a room with a cell phone. And then we, they fall into these traps of the stupid things like the Momo Challenge. Anything called a challenge is, is kind of a hip, popular thing. I get it. They had the ice bucket thing. Uh, and that was good. It raised money or something. But there's the Cinnamon Challenge. These other like self-harm or embarrass yourself things. Um, there are people out there who want to trap your children. They want to corrupt and abuse your children. And they are going to be using the internet for that. So as parents, we need to um, make sure that our children are safe. So all kinds of different things you can do. It's kind of a no-brainer. I don't even need to really talk about this. But I saw a woman with blue hair with her autistic daughter saying, You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't know to not turn the gas on when I was asleep. And, yeah, the kid did do something wrong because I don't care what type of ADHD, if you're... You've given out your personal information and this thing won't leave you alone. You've done something wrong. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Five Nights at Freddy's is popular because as kids we love, uh, children love that experience of fear, of watching scary movies and stuff like that. That's something all kids go through. So it's just do your job as a parent. And as far as the Momo Challenge goes, that's, that's for morons. That's for idiots. I mean, and... Whoever's behind this, come on, guys, grow up. Is this really the only way you can get some attention? Is Momo Challenge? Are you kidding me? This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Wake up in the middle of the night. Kill yourself. Yeah, and then these kids are going to listen because they're, they, they, they've never been parented. Their parents have never once told them no or don't do that or stop it. I mean, this is what I see. I see an unbelievable lack of discipline. We went from this Oprah Winfrey, don't spank your children, to don't ever say a word to your kid. Your kid runs the show. Your kid is God. These are the kids you see flopping around in the, uh, in the cart or on the floor of the grocery store screaming at the top of their lungs. And the parent's like, I'm going to count to five. You know, and the kid's screaming at the top of its lungs. That's that's a Momo challenge right there. That's Momo, no, no. You didn't do your job as a parent. So anyway, yeah, I, uh, Conti, I hope this was good enough for you. I, this Momo challenge is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this was kind of a cop-out video, but I've got yogurt to eat and Wolfenstein to play. i got some Nazis to kill today. That's what's on the menu. So, you guys, Momo, no, no.